In the previous video, uh, we worked through this problem, uh, determining for which values of x this curve is increasing, decreasing, or stationary. And in order to solve this problem, it all hinged on you being able to know what that curve looks like. But what if you didn't? What if you didn't know what that curve looked like? In which case, uh, you either need to try and sketch the curve, which can be problematic for some curves at this stage, or you can use your calculator. Okay? Now, I've got here uh, one of the silver calculators, the FX991ES+, Plus, but you'll be able to do this on a regular calculator as well, regular Casio. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into mode, okay? So you want to go into mode, and then you want to press number seven. So seven table, okay? And what you should have on your screen is something that looks like that, okay? f of x equals, and what it's waiting for you to do is to type in this, this 3x squared plus 6x minus 24, okay? What we want to do is we want to type in this, and we are going to then get the, t the calculator to substitute values in to then look at the gradient of the curve either side of the stationary points, okay? So, we're going to type this in. So, you want to press 3 and then times, okay? So, 3 times. Now, where is the x? The x can be found by pressing the red alpha button, okay? So, alpha, and then pressing the right hand bracket button. You'll see a little X in the top right hand corner of that button, okay? And you should now see an X appear. And we're then going to press the X squared button, okay, to put a squared on it. Then we've got six times X, so we're going to use the same technique. So six, so plus six times alpha X, and then take away 24. And then once you're there, press equals, okay? So what you should now have is something that says start, okay? And what this is asking you to do, it should already say one, okay? What this is asking you to do is to set an initial value of x to substitute in. Okay, from which values of x do you want to start? Now, when we uh, worked through this problem in the previous video, um, we found that there was a stationary point at minus 4. Okay, so what I would do is I would look at a couple of points below that. So let's try minus 6. So we're going to put minus 6. So use the minus sign and then number 6 and then press equals. And what you'll have then is something now ask you, how about the end value? Well, uh, when we found the stationary points, the second one was 2. So we're going to do a couple of uh, points ahead of that. So let's try 4. Press equals. And then it asks you for the step. Now the step is asking you to input... Um, how much should I be going up in each time between these values? Should I be going minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4? Or should I do, be doing minus 6, minus 5.5, minus 5, minus 4.5, minus 4? So you can tell it to go up in 1s, or you can go, tell it to go up in 0.5s or 0.1s, whatever you need. So I would probably suggest at this point just to go up in 1s. Now, a lot of this is really down to you, uh, getting used to the calculator and knowing what you're working with. So I'm going to go, uh, continue with the calculator. It already says 1, so I'm just going to press equals. And what it should now do is bring up a table of values. You'll have x, fx. OK, it's got uh, 1, 2, 3 down the side, so we've got minus 6. Minus 5, minus 4, 
48 21 0 that's all I can see at the moment there's a one two three there I don't really need to look at that column but then I can keep going down by pressing the down button so I can see that there's minus three minus two minus one that's minus 15 uh, minus 24 that's minus 27 then I've got zero uh, one and two Okay, I'm going to have 3 and 4 as well. Uh, we've got minus 24, we've got minus 15, we've got 0, and then keep going, we've got 21 and 48. Okay, so it's given me this big table of results. And really, all I want to do is I want to look at that final column, the f of x column. Because... Any of the points where I'm getting 0, that's telling me where dy by dx is 0. And so that tells me the stationary points. So I know that this curve is stationary when x equals minus 4 and when x is equal to 2. OK? I could also see where it's increasing because that's where the gradient is positive. If you have positive numbers, so there and there, there and there, that means that the curve is increasing at these points. And so it is increasing when x is less than minus 4. So increasing when x is less than minus 4, and increasing when x is greater than 2. And lastly, this must be where it is decreasing, because all of these gradients are negative. And so the curve is decreasing between minus 4 and 2. And so minus 4 is less than x is less than 2. These are exactly the same results as we got in the previous video. But what I want to show is that you can use your calculator to help you, okay, identify these regions, okay? That functionality is there. So it's well worth knowing how to type your function in and then how to use these start and end functions in order to find the stationary points um, and identify where the gradient is positive and negative, okay? So keep this technique in mind.